know what, remove me. That means somebody's going to come and get you and take you somewhere. That don't mean you're going to get up and migrate. You know, I'm sitting over here in Europe today, and I think I want to go over there and live in the United States. That is not remove. You understand? Remove means somebody came and they took you by force and carried you somewhere. That is removed. You understand what I'm saying? Now, he said you will be removed, not just into one place, but he said into all the kingdoms of the earth. Now, skip down to uh, verse 29 and continue to read. And thou shalt grope at noonday uh -huh. as the blind grope in darkness. Go ahead. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. See what the Lord said? And you will not prosper in your way. You know, you would think, you know, everybody know the Jews supposed to be God's chosen people, right? Well, you would think that they are God's chosen people, then they would be prosperous, right? But that ain't what God said. It is just the opposite. He said, because you don't obey these commandments, then you will not prosper in your way. Israel didn't obey the commandments, and God just simply kept his word. That is all. He told, When God says something, that is what he means. Now, he said, and you will not prosper in your way. Look what else he said. Go ahead and read. And thou shalt be only oppressed uh -huh. and spoiled evermore. Now, he said, you will be oppressed and you will be spoiled evermore. You know what spoiled means? That means you will be robbed. I, you ain't going to have nothing. The Bible's going to tell us you ain't got nothing. You're going to be on the bottom. Everybody else going to be on the top. You got $2, and somebody going to be trying to beat you out of that. You got less than everybody as a people, and somebody even going to be trying to beat you out of that. Well, what about him? Well, one thing about him, he's sitting in his own land, isn't he? Mm -hmm. and, and, and in some parts of their land, they got tremendous wealth in the ground, too, though. However, they may let somebody else come over there and rape them of it, but nevertheless, it belongs to them, doesn't it? But what do you have, Israel? You don't have nothing. You're on the bottom, but yet whatever little bit you got, somebody is looking to take that from you. So he said you're going to be spoiled evermore. Now, uh, uh, skip down to uh, 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 verse, uh, skip down to verse uh, 41 and continue to read. Thou shalt begat sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, uh -huh. for they shall go into captivity. See what it say? You're going to be get sons, and you're going to be get daughters, and you're not going to enjoy them, for they are going into captivity. Go ahead and read on. He shall, he said, oh, at 42. Yeah. And thy trees and the fruit of thy land shall the locusts consume. Now, when you when you produce some crops, when you're in your land and you produce some crops, I'm going to even send the locusts to eat them up. And when the Lord said, curse you, it, 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 in every sense of the word, I'm going to bring curses up on you, Israel. If somebody don't take it from you, then I'm going to send the locusts to take it from you. Mm. Go ahead and read on. The stranger that is within thee uh -huh. shall get up above thee very high, uh -huh. and thou shalt come down very low. Now notice what he said. The people that are among you, Israel, they're going to get up very high, and you're going to come down very low. In other words, they're going to be on the top, and you're going to be on the bottom. This is the real Israelites here. They're not going to be on the top. They are going to be on the bottom. And guess what? They ain't going to have no money. Look what the Lord said. Go ahead and read. He shall lend to thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt not lend to him. See what I say? He's going to do the lending, and you're going to do the borrowing to Israel. Well, that ain't how it appears today, is it? Because the people that you call Israelites or Jews, they are the ones that do all the lending, aren't they? Yep. Every time you go to the bank to sit down and get some ridiculous mortgage, it's an Edomite sitting right there in front of you, or he's behind the one that's sitting in front of you. I guarantee you, when the money stops, it'll stop in his pocket. <laughs> but but the Lord said, Israel, you're going to be on the bottom. He said, uh, you know, they're going to lend to you, and you won't be able to lend to them, and you cannot lend nobody nothing. What you got? You ain't got nothing. What, $2? And you need that. Don't tell me you don't need it. Because mm -hmm. I guarantee you, I've seen it happen. You loan somebody two dollars at, at that morning, then you back that evening asking for it back. <laughs> hey man, where them two dollars that I let you have? I need it. <laughs> yeah, because you're not supposed to be able to lend to nobody. Go ahead and read on. He shall be the head, uh -huh. and thou shall be the tail. He went and said, a stranger, he gonna be the head, and you gonna be the tail. He gonna be on top, and you gonna be on bottom. That's the real Israelites here. Go ahead and read on. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, uh -huh. and shall pursue thee, Go ahead. and overtake thee, until thou be destroyed. Go ahead. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. See what the Lord said, these curses are going to be up on Israel, because they would not listen to the voice of the Lord God to keep his commandments. All they had to do was keep his commandments. He told you that right from the start, didn't he? He said, if you obey these commandments, then all these blessings are going to come up on you, right? But he said, if you don't obey, then all these curses are going to come up on you. Why? 
because you refuse to obey his command. And then Israel and David will turn right around and allow somebody to tell them that they don't have to keep the command. Of all the people in, on the planet, they, should, they shouldn't listen to nobody to tell them they ain't got to keep the command. I can understand anybody else maybe going for that, but I can't understand Israel going for that. Just not keeping them commandments is what have us in the condition that we are in this very day. Go ahead and read some more. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. See what I'm saying? It will be these curses, he said, will be up on you for a sign and for a wonder. You know what a sign is? A sign is something that points out something. You understand what I'm saying? So now, if you want to understand who Israel is, only thing you need to do is find out who got these curses on them. Then you have discovered Israel. Concentrate yourself. You don't need to go no further. Read what the curses are, then find out who have these curses on them. Then you know who Israel is. Now, he said they will be up on you for a sign and for a wonder, and not just for the Israelites that was there in the land at the time that Moses wrote this. Look at what the Lord said. Go ahead and read on. And upon thy seed forever. In other words, upon all the future generations of Israel. So now, you know, he, he was dealing with the ones that was back there then, but he said they would be up on thy seed as well forever. Let's, uh, let's uh, continue reading. Read some more. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with now, joyfulness. Now, he said this is why, because you did not serve the Lord your God with joyfulness. Go ahead, read on. And with gladness of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. Go ahead. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And he said, because you refuse to serve me, therefore you're going to serve your enemies. That notice who's going to send them against you. That the Lord your God is going to send against you in hunger and in nakedness and in thirst and in want of all things. Who wants more than, than Israel do? You ain't got nothing, so all you can do is want. Uh, skip down now to uh, verse 63 and continue reading. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good Go ahead. and to multiply you, uh -huh. so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you Go and ahead. to bring you to naught. Uh -huh. And ye shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. Go ahead. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of earth, from the one end of earth, even unto the other. Now notice who it is that's going to scatter you. He said the Lord will scatter you among all nations, from one end of the earth, even unto the other. Go ahead, read. And there thou shalt serve other gods, Go ahead. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood and stone. Now that's what Israel is serving today. Whatever land you find them in, they are serving other gods, even wood and stone that you or your fathers have known anything about. Go ahead and continue reading. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. And then when you are scattered among these nations, it will not go well with you, Israel. Among these nations you will not find any ease. Go ahead and read on. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. Go ahead. But the Lord shall give thee their trembling heart and the failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. In other words, you're going to be afraid all of the time, Israel. Even a leaf going to chase you. All of the time, you're going to be afraid. The Lord going to give you there a, a sorrow of mind and a failing of eyes. Go ahead and read on. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. Go ahead and read. In the morning, thou shalt say, uh -huh. would God it were evening. Go ahead and read. And at evening, thou shalt say, would God it were morning. Read on. For the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, uh -huh. and for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? Now, uh, 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 Egypt means captivity for Israel, and he said he's going to bring you by ships, they said, didn't he? How did you get to this hemisphere? Think by about ship. it. You think the people that you call Israelites or Jews, how did they get to this hemisphere? You know how they got here? They migrated here. You know how you got here, Israel? You were brought here in ships. That's how you got here. All you got to do is just read the Bible and look at what is going on, and it will tell you clearly who Israel is. Go ahead and read some more. Thou shalt see it no more again. Go ahead. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. See what I said? There you will be sold. And, and that is how you got here. You were sold, and you were brought here by ship. This is what the Lord said was going to happen to the real Israelites now. Let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 42. 
And we began reading.